Three, two, one. Hi, everybody. Mr. Higgins here, and I am excited to get into our third project, which is making digital art with layers. Now, we should have just watched the video about getting started with digital art with Miss Lee, where she showed off some of that professional technique, and we are going to start to explore and use some of the things she mentioned. I just want to replay one clip that I think is really important when she's talking about layers and what they are. And layers. Think of it like drawing on tracing paper. Layers allow you to stack the many parts of your image on different levels to form the whole drawing, which makes editing the final image easier. So that's what we're going to focus on, creating the drawing first in Sketch.io and then bringing it over to Pixlr to do a, the color on a separate layer. And I think when we do that and practice our saving, that that will kind of elevate your game on being able to make a logo or being able to make any assets for our games or our media production that we're doing later on. So to start that off, I'm going to go to Sketch.io. And what I am going to ask you to do in this assignment is you are going to make three different shapes. If you want to go as basic as possible, we can just do kind of normal shapes like a circle, a square, and a triangle and do a pattern or design inside that. Or you can start to draw your own weird shape or kind of like the hardest version of this is that you're going to try to draw maybe a face or a character try to do some original artwork so what we want to do to start off is we're gonna click new and we want to set the size to 200 pixels by 200 pixels and I'm gonna click transparent so it's gonna make it transparent in the background so it can save as a PNG so now you should see something like this what we want to do is we want to go to zoom and we want to click the zoom to fit, which will make it full screen. Now we're going to go back over to our text and I'd really like it if we grabbed streamer because I think it's going to be one of the best tools. When we go to streamer, what we want to do is set the size down because we're working with a very small image and we are going to use in the next two projects. It's kind of important that it's small, but you'll see why later. So we want to set our size down to zero to three. So we're going to start with a black line to draw with because we're going to add that color in Pixlr later with layers. If you want to start the most basic style of the shape, we just need to make a shape now. So I'm going to start with a triangle. Once you make a triangle, what we want to do is create a pattern. So we want to kind of practice, I don't know, you can just do some lines or make some cool patterns. Um, if you mess up, you can control Z. So this is going to be some original digital artwork that you're making. Uh, and if you want to zoom in more, you could do that. You want to get real detailed like maybe i wanted to and i can go back over to the streamer maybe i want to do a line of circles here so i've had some students who've done this before who got really inspired by graffiti and street art or you could search for if there's any artists that you really like and you want to try to maybe make some uh in, in work inspired by them i think that that's a great idea too and then when i click to zoom i can fit again and then i can start to zoom out so that's the shape that I've made. It's just kind of a triangle that I've filled in with some lines and some circles. And what I'm gonna do, I gotta save with two formats. So remember, you're gonna make three shapes, so you're gonna do this three times. And first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Export, and I'm gonna left click Save as a PNG. What I'm gonna do is go to Google Drive, go to CS, and then I'm going to make a folder called number three dash digital art with layers. It's really important that you name these actually. So let's focus on this. We're gonna do shape one and PNG. So shape one PNG. I'm adding that dash there because I've already done this project before and I don't wanna save over my old work. The reason it's important to name your work different things is if you give it the same name, it will save over and delete your other work. I've had students who have made lots of awesome stuff and deleted all of it because they didn't name their save. So don't let that happen to you, okay? Now here's the other important. We're gonna create two saves for each file. So we just saved that as a PNG. Now what we're gonna do is click export again and save as an SVG. We're gonna, we're not using it in this project, but in two projects from now, we're gonna use this file again. So it's really important that you do this or you'll have to come back. So what I'd wanna do is I wanna do shape one SVG and we're just gonna click save. Now that's not gonna show up as an image file and that's okay, I just need you to do this for later. So when you have two, two images saved, you've got your PNG saved and your SVG saved, then we wanna start another one. So we're gonna hit plus and 200 by 200 and transparent. And I'm gonna move forward, go back to that zoom, go full and I'm gonna repeat this process. So I gotta draw three different images for this.
Okay, so I've made my second image. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna save it as shape two. Shape two PNG. And then I'm gonna save it as shape two SVG. I'm gonna move on to the third and just fast forward through all this. So you can do anything you want for these. The shapes are kind of the basic. You do weird shapes or you could just draw original artwork. It's up to you, maybe a flower or something like that. Find something to inspire you. Once you've done three shapes, then you are finished with part one and we're gonna move into part two, which is coloring those shapes. Okay, once we are finished with part one, we are gonna move over to Pixlr for part two. So when we go into Pixlr, what we are gonna do is we are going to open up our PNG that we saved. So I'm gonna to go to open image and I'm going to find the PNGs that I saved. I have my first versions and my second versions. I'll uh, open up this triangle because it seems pretty cool. Now what I wanna do is you can arrange your, your palette how you like. Kinda of wanna make it as big as possible. That's gonna be important. So our first step to color is that we need to add a new layer. The new layer button is right here next to the delete layer button. So I'm gonna click the new layer and notice that the new layer will appear on top of your image. It's super important for coloring that your, that your layer that you're gonna draw on is going underneath. Now this project can be frustrating if you're not careful which layer you're on. So it's gonna be really important that you're on the empty layer underneath because if you draw on your original image, this will mess everything up. But remember, you can always undo and or control Z to step back in your history or click back in your history. Three ways to undo. Once you've got that layer one selected underneath, now what you need to do is figure out what color you want. How you change your color is if you click on the main color, you can save up, there's six presets here. So if I wanted to, maybe I wanna get like an aqua teal. I like aqua and purple and gold. I think those are some pretty cool. So I can adjust all these colors, but wherever, if you're on the HSL color scheme, wherever you move that little circle on the inside is what matters. So if you wanna pick a different type of color, you can move around here. So I'm gonna get that teal. And now what I'm gonna do is click on my brush tool. We're mostly, for coloring, we're just gonna use the brush and the eraser. One thing that's really important is when we're in our brush is gonna be the size, the diameter, and the hardness, which means if it's a soft brush like an airbrush or a hard brush like a permanent marker. We want to make sure that the brush is super hard, but we also wanna make it so it's pretty small. So if you click up here, these are the, the harder brushes on the top, softer brushes on the bottom. So we pretty much wanna go down here. So I'll drop down to nine make sure I'm at 100% hardness, and I'm gonna to start to color. So as I click around here, you'll notice that I'm not overlapping with the black, and that's for a pretty good reason. If you look over here, I'm coloring on the layer underneath it. So you just wanna kinda of get as close as possible. If you mess up, it's really easy to fix, and that's the nice thing about using this one. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna see there's a little bit of green there, a little bit of green here. What I can do is just grab that eraser. I'm gonna take the eraser, I'm gonna make that 15, make sure it's super hard, um, or nine, make sure it's 100% hardness. You go in and you're able to erase everything. So notice if it's gonna be, if it, was, if it was real soft and I go to try to erase what happens, you'll get that kind of weird transparency in the middle. So I'm gonna control Z to undo that. So you just wanna make sure that it's a hard line, not a soft line when you're doing all this coloring. So now what I wanna show you, so I've got those first colors in, right? And those are pretty cool. Um, now I could toggle these layers on and off. So if I toggle off the color here, it's gone. I could also go up to adjustment, hue and saturation, and I could totally adjust the colors on a whim. Maybe I like that kind of like weird orangey pink instead, right? I'm gonna control Z. When you color on layers, you have full control over what that image looks like. And you can save it as a PNG, but if you keep your original, you can go back and change it at any time. In our next project, when we start to add these images we make together, we're gonna to make some really cool stuff. And having your PXD of your color file will let you go back and change it very easily, which is really a thing, like if you're drawing with a physical tool, you can never do any of that. Oh, so I just made a mistake, right? Because I was on layer zero here, I drew on top of the black line. So I need to make sure I undo that because I need to be on the layer underneath. It'll totally mess you up if you're not. So I'm just gonna go to a fast forward as I color this all in.
it looks like I'm done. Okay, so basically you just gotta kind of zoom in there and color up. When you've got your color finished, what we're gonna do is save as a PNG. So what you wanna do is come up here. So this is a shape one PNG, but I wanna do shape one color PNG because that'll save it differently. So you'll have your shape one PNG with no color and then your PNG with color. So I'm gonna click save and I'm gonna get it saved in here. What I wanna do real quick is I'm just going to open up uh, some example projects real quick so you'll see what we'll be doing because we'll cover advanced coloring projects in the next one. For right now, what I want you to do is you wanna color in the three versions of the shapes that you made. So just like you did this first one, you wanna do PNG number two and shape PNG number three. And you wanna make a colored version and but make sure you're saving that original one too so we can go back to it. All right, lastly, when you have finished all three shapes and you've colored all of them, you've saved them as three separate files as PNGs, then you are ready to create your final turn-in product. And what we're gonna do is that we are going to go to File and we're gonna go to New Image, click Transparent. And what we are gonna do is create 600 by 200 and click OK. So you should get a small box like this I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And what we want to do is we're going to go to layer, open image as layer. I'm going to bring my one shape in. Make sure you can grab that layer and you can move it over. And then you're going to go to layer, open image as layer. And I'm going to grab my other shape, kind of position it however you want. And then I'm going to go to layer, open image as layer. And I'm going to grab my final shape. Now what I want to do is just arrange all three of them on the board. I am going to go down to layer zero here and I'm just going to put, I can put a black or white background. I go white. Um, so you could do black or white or whatever you want the background color to be. And we are just going to basically create a single file with our three shapes, colored shapes on it. So when I fill in, that looks good. And if you wanted to add a drop shadow just for fun, uh, you can do that too. So I click on my drop shadow, just blur it out a little bit. I'm going to copy layer style and I'm going to paste layer style. I'm going to paste layer style. So that kind of adds those shapes. Um, so you can arrange your shapes however you want. Basically your final product, you just need to have all three of your colored shapes with a little bit of an effect somehow or a drop shadow or something like that, arrange them how you want. We're going to save that as a PNG. And so what you can do is project three final, save that as a PNG, and this image that you're saving, you're going to turn in in Google Classroom. So you're gonna to go to Google Classroom, you're gonna to come to project three, you're gonna click add, and you're gonna add it that. And that's it. We are done with project three and project four, we'll go over advanced coloring. In project five, we are going to take your shapes and we're gonna make much bigger shapes out of them by using duplication and layers. And then for project six, we are going to animate using your original digital artwork. So make sure you put a lot of effort in. It's gonna be great, I'm excited. Talk to you soon, bye.